Welcome back to all the hip hop, where we don't listen to no trap, no rack raps, just straight hip hop. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe because I will be doing a giveaway pretty soon, and we're just gonna get started into the video. So today we got fucking Mickey Facts with Rafe. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that shit right. Comment down below if I'm not. Correct me if I'm wrong. You know what I mean? But um, it's gonna be the first time reacting and listening to a song like that. You know what I mean? I don't know who the fuck he is. But, um, yeah, for some reason, he's just jumping into the fucking Lupa fiasco and, um, Royce the five nine fucking, um, I wouldn't call it beef, just so-called fucking dissing and shit like that. But, um, yeah, man, we're about to see if he brings this fucking A game. Cause, you know, when you fucking come at fucking Royce, dude, you're gonna bring your fucking A game on, you know what I mean? Cause Royce, he's another top tier lyricist. He's a fucking monster in the game, you know, he paid his fucking dudes and shit like that, dude. It's a fucking legend. And we're about to see if not, dude, if this shit's fucking trash as fuck, I'm about to fucking grab the whole fucking monitor, throw this shit in the trash, dude. If it's not, I'm going to give it a fucking high rating. I, I don't know, man. I, I just want this dude to impress me, you know what I mean? If he's coming at Royce like that, he has to impress you, you know what I mean? He has to say some of the most fucking craziest shit ever that hasn't been said about Royce, you know what I mean? Let's get started. Mickey. Hurts when you gotta kill a nigga you love. It's all good though. Sosa. No more talking, nigga. Look, all this chatter for hours is really silly, nigga. With no rapping, I swear you gotta be backwards. No matter how many flowers you try to give a nigga, it's like they only want them on top of the casket. Damn. Pay the price for acting ladylike. We really see black MMs. Kinda shady, right? You sent the shot, so I flag. We rarely see any black MMs. Kinda shady, right? Um, shady, not shitty. Um, but yeah, man. I don't know why the fuck you gotta bring fucking M into this. Like, if it's just about Royce, just stick to Royce, dude. Don't. That's where you just fucking did, like, fucking went dead ass wrong, you know what I mean? Fucking mentioning fucking M like that, dude. M's on a whole fucking different level, dude. I don't know why fucking people do that. Like, that's just fucking plain suicide, dude. Don't fucking do that, like. I don't know if he, if he's about to respond. He really didn't say nothing about M, you know what I mean? But he did mention his name like that. If it was the 2000s, you know, fucking M fucking June it, everybody would fucking be jumping on this shit, you know what I mean, but obviously, now, nowadays, it's a whole different era, and really doesn't respond like that, you know what I mean, but, man, I don't fucking know, that was a huge fucking big ass mistake, and I done heard that fucking line a lot of fucking times, dude, so, I'm not impressed with that line, but he's still pretty dope. Back like it's 80s night, playing big or put you in the box. That was gravy's plight. Thought I was hijacking that live. Now I'm taking flight. Your girl in the ghost and gobbling dick. Say goodnight. You know how I Rolls Royce. Chess move. You see Ryan Reynolds wrapped in a lagoon. That's a Deadpool. Yeah. Lupe freestyled and got you out of here. You cried alone from playing. That was gravy's plight. Thought I was hijacking that live. Now I'm taking flight. Your girl in the ghost and gobbling dick. Say goodnight. You know how I Rolls Royce. Chess move. You see Ryan Reynolds wrapped in a Lagoon, that's a Deadpool. Yeah. Lupin. All right, so you know he's coming with it. He's fucking being disrespectful as fuck, you know. But that's what the whole fucking you know game is about. Especially when you fucking are battling someone or dissing someone, you have to be like the most fucking nastiest, fucking grimiest, fucking disrespectful ass motherfucker on the fucking face of the earth, dude. When it comes to fucking battle rapping or fucking um, what you call that dissing. And I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure fucking Royce the Five Nine grew up in battle rapping with Em and shit like that. Pretty sure. So, um, you, you know, he's, he's saying some foul ass shit. But, um, you guys gotta remember fucking Royce dust out all the time since he's a fucking battle rapper in the top tier list. Is he, like, when he fucking disses you, he says, like, the most foulest fucking shit ever, dude. Like, the fuck was it when he dissed fucking Bencino? Was it Bencino? And he, uh, what was it, um, he fucking mentioned Cor Coy Larray or some shit like that about well, what's it her another daughter that pushing her on the swings and basically fucking her. I was like, what the fuck, dude? I don't know if you guys remember that. I'll probably like post like a little clip or some shit. But um, yeah, man, when you come into this shit and you gotta diss someone, you gotta be like the most fucking nastiest, grimiest motherfucker ever, dude. And that's what fucking Mickey Fax is doing. 
They freestyled and got you out of here. You cried alone from playing yourself, shed a solitaire. All that syllable, blibble, 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 is kinda weird. It dresses you up from being direct, cause you probably scared. Your fans say I'm on a rampage. Better reunite, slaughterhouse, and get cut. You need oh, your band aid. No. I told them, prove you do what I do. What are you doing? The fans say I'm on a rampage. Better reunite, slaughterhouse, and get cut. You need your band aid. Better reunite, slaughterhouse, get cut. What the fuck was it? I fucking forgot. Hold on. Indirect, cause you probably scared. Your fans say I'm on a rampage. Better reunite, slaughterhouse, and get cut. You need your band aid. I told Better reunite, slaughterhouse, get cut, get a band aid. Some shit like that. I don't know if I'm fucking saying it wrong. Probably am, but um, that's badass fucking uh, punchline or fucking metaphor. You know what I mean? Um, basically, it goes both ways. You know, getting cut, get a band aid. The other way is fucking with, um, you know, you better call fucking Slaughterhouse because you're about to get fucking cut up. You're going to need your fucking band aid. Like, you know what I mean? Like, your band aid. Like, fucking, you're going to need fucking Slaughterhouse, Slaughterhouse help, dude. You're going to need your fucking squad's help. Your band's help, dude. Uh, that's pretty good, you know what I mean? He has some solid ass fucking punchlines and metaphors, dude. I fuck with him. Um, but that's something you do not do. Don't fucking bring Slaughterhouse am fucking into this because you know fucking joe budden fucking um uh, what the fuck was his name so, uh joe ortiz i'm not sure if that's his name fucking a uh, crooked all of those motherfuckers are about to jump in hopefully they fucking do and if they do dude you better somehow fucking become fucking nick fury fucking like assemble the fucking baddest fucking top tier avengers of all fucking time if you're gonna go at fucking slaughterhouse m and joe budden and royce the five nine and all of those motherfuckers because you know they're gonna fucking come at your fucking head like thanos dude like not like thanos whoa i i just fucking said that wrong they went at thanos head for you you know what the fuck i mean man Improve, you do what I do. He gave me lampshade and said no. I gave the bitch room and then the man cave. Woo! Divide his body. The footage got him seven. Contradicting every lie. Pull yourself together. Your songs ain't no anthems. Your bar placement random. And you still ain't bring that energy to RJ and Ransom, nigga. I right, so I don't know who um, RJ and Ransom is. If you guys know, comment down below. But basically, he's just calling Royce out. You know what I mean? Like, just saying his fucking, um, you know. Lyrics and all that shit is just fucking random as fuck. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Do you guys agree with that shit or not? But for me personally, I know I'm about to get a lot of hate for this. But, um, you know, a lot of fucking top tier lyricists. Even fucking rappers in general, dude. Like, some of their songs, like, some of the shit they be saying is just fucking random as fuck. It's out of fucking context, dude. Like, it's just weird as fuck. Like, you know, I done heard fucking Royce do that. But it's not just Royce, you know. Even M. A whole lot of fucking rappers do that, so... It's normal, you know what I mean? It's part of the fucking um, game, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, if fucking, if it was just fucking Royce doing it, then you know what I mean? But it's just a whole fucking generation after generation doing that shit, you know what I mean? Let's get back to it. I think it's crazy, right? Like, this all started because RJ said him and Ransom was the best. And you responded on IG. You never got in the booth and spoke to these niggas. Alright, so I guess that's how it started. I don't know. Comment down below if that's right. If not, then I don't know, dude. But um, basically, you know, that's what it is like about hip-hop, dude. When you start like rapping and doing all that type of shit, you gotta believe you're the fucking best ever in the fucking game. You know what I mean? But obviously, if you're a top-tier lyricist and a fucking OG of fucking rap... You, you gotta defend that shit, you know what I mean? You gotta fucking go back, clap back, and the fucking, um, excuse me, in the fucking studio and fucking bring out a fucking monster ass track and fucking show them that you're the one, like, you're fucking basically fucking Thanos or Galactus or the whole fucking wrecking, you know what I mean? And for Royce to fucking go on social media and IG, whatever the fuck you said, that was kind of stupid, you know what I mean? But, um, it, it is what it is. I'm not sure if fucking Royce the Five Nine already fucking responded to him. Mickey Facts. If you guys know, comment down below, man. 
So yo, I'm a bar they style Shaq and talk to you, nigga. Got rid of the pounds. I had a little weight plan on Montgomery Ave. Bad, I'm dealing that name brand. Catch voice at the register and give him a face scan. This ain't RJ or Sean Kemp, original Rain Man. Huh. They loving the pressure. Want me to test you? KRS one with the lectures. Big pun with the letters on the roof. About to leave voice sick, clutching Berettas. Bullets rain over you. Now we really under the weather. Uh, pain. Randy Nichols, I'm dissecting the track. More fly, elegant rap. His pride get him attacked. This guy skeleton. Crack till Ryan Melanin's flat Then the white guy rides with cosigners Melanin's black, don't cry, give him a clap I'm Lucifer, the Y3 fly Devilish cat who decides heaven is whack Now my attention is back, apply pressure with facts Marvel at your multiverse till you die mentioning that duffel That's me paying homage to my niggas Cause you were supposed to get in the booth and respond to that Instead of Now I don't know if that fucking um You know, what he did was spot on If you guys know, comment down below Um but yeah, I don't know if it was spot on, you know what I mean? Did he sound like them? Did he fucking, you know, have the same fucking flow pattern, the same fucking, um, you know, rhyme scheme and all that shit? Comment down below, man. I don't know who who those two dudes are, but um, if it was spot on, comment down below. Getting on IG on a fucking rant, nigga. It's a problem, man. And my man killed you. Woke up in the middle of the night. Got you out of here. Quick. And you need to stop running. Stop, stop running, nigga. You know what stop I'm talking running, about, too. Nigga. People taking me being unbothered is weakness. Yeah. Mills at the dock, I'm done harboring meekness. Yeah. Rob Marvin know that my son's father's a genius. All them dumb shots when I'm unbocked with the defense. <laughs> Ryan Montgomery hiding behind every rhyme he defining as brotherly. I've decided he's grumpily by my discovery. Five Kinda nine is trying to be person. somebody the upper echelon recognizes by his redundancy. Hove took you off renegade like it was custody. Your dad ain't even push back surprising you suddenly on this all right so if you guys don't know that you know uh hove jc basically renegade was his song but um for some reason he took fucking um royce to five nine off and fucking did m on that you know what i mean which fucking m fucking brutally fucking murdered jc and that shit that's just in case you didn't know you know what i mean but um i'm curious what it would have sound like with royce and shit like that i'm not sure if he did the song or not man i have to look up on that but Side lie, crying uncomfortably. I am abundantly tired and hungrily. I am a gluttony. Why am I suddenly not for loyalty that I'm giving publicly? Lupe is my brother, and I'ma ride with him stubbornly. Defending the best, and nevertheless, adrenaline been in my chest. He getting regrets for ever discrediting the vets while living off Eminem's mess. He got a song with Kiss and Fab. Read it out the book of Ryan, but I would be lying if I ever said that shit is trash. All let's talk about the pen and pad. You good at writing? It's ironic you won with FAB, but you lost to Mr. Fab. Trash. Playing Mufasa got you some battles. If you would've checked the box, you probably on Amazon Instead of dying in the jungle, Jordan meme Avatar I'm Jeff Bezos, out of space with galactic bars Wait, that's something that Royce would do He'll take something from pop culture and exploit it through a point or two Like Shikari Richardson, Bill Cosby, common shit Current event bars ain't skills, kinda obvious, you gotta quit Do an entendre without comic wit, I don't subscribe to it I'm the definition, the opposite Woo! Chain punching, you do Tetris, I do column shit Get stoned with a great structure until you Monolith, obelisk, look what I'm a mountain to A steep, yes, at my peak next No TV when Ryan Seacrest, top of the hill Here's the cliffhanger like Cosby Closet Eating pork, claiming Muslim hogwash wow. Ryan Wallen, Woo. stop it novice Listen what I'm giving you Yeah, check boxes, wow. that's what morticians do Damn. And stop fibbing too, nigga You was mad at Cass and turned to rock him with the ass They like the aftermath, did the same thing with pain Then you got scolded He had you holding on your chin like Francois Rodin Look what I have sculpted, nigga Talking, checking boxes. Why three all the time? Never a checking box. Uh, yeah. The finest chicken head dismembered in checker boxes. Yeah. I'm Bobby Fisher, you playing chess with checker boxes. He loved MMA. Every day he checking boxes. Joe Budden, Dick riding. Look at Royce checking boxes. Money in the mail, man. I see the checking boxes. Your chick be in my DMs when I check in boxes. Yeah. Ask women, this guy know I'm checking boxes. Fuck that, I'm Craig on Friday. I ain't checking boxes. They all thinking I ain't got fire. Literally, you not Christopher Nolan. Ryan, fuck what you pitching me on IG The way that I handled it show humility But this nigga bathing in arrogance, insecurity Disparaging words by Lupe making mural wow. You tried to do it and failed, you should've called it plural Word. Lay him face down and ask him, you want a war? No spine, this is easy, I'm back to the drawing, boy Now why she don't respond to this shit? Any money bet, the nigga don't say nothing And Royce, no, you know how I give it up We gonna do this until 2022, nigga Facts
Wow, dude. I don't, I don't know. He might fucking respond. He might not. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Um, man, this song is fucking badass. So it's a good ass fucking song. I'm gonna probably rate it a eight out of ten, dude. Nah, yeah, eight out of ten, dude. It was pretty good. Um, you might fucking disagree or agree with me. I don't fucking know. Comment down below. But um, you know, he had a fucking um solid ass fucking. Punchlines, fucking metaphors in there. I, I like some of the things, but dude had to fucking stop mentioning fucking slaughterhouse, Joe Budden, fucking M. Just stop, dude. <laughs> you don't you don't want that shit, you know what I mean? That's a whole fucking different level, dude. Like not even fucking voices on that shit, you know, when it comes to fucking M and all that shit, you know what I mean? And Slaughterhouse Ah man, I don't fucking know. I think they're they're not even fucking Slaughterhouse anymore, dude. They're not even the fucking group. I think Joe Budden fucking retired. Um, was fucking. I don't know about the other dudes. But I know fucking Joe Budden fucking retired. But who knows, man. If it's the whole fucking slaughterhouse to come back. Just to come at fucking Mickey Fax. <laughs> then it's over, dude. I don't fucking know. Like I said, if it was back in the fucking 2000s. You would have had fucking D12, fucking G Unit, fucking. Sl not slaughterhouse, my bad. Um, you would have fucking G Unit, fucking D12, everyone on this fucking shit, you know what I mean? Um, it would have fucking been an insane ass fucking era if it was back in the 2000s, but I don't know if they will fucking respond. I don't know if Royce will fucking respond. It would be cool if fucking Slaughterhouse came back, fucking respond, dude. Like I said, if you're going at them, you have to fucking assemble the fucking crazy ass fucking you know, top tier lyricist fucking group of all time to go at them, dude. I don't know. We might see that. That's what probably hip hop needs. You know what I mean? I don't know, dude. Comment down below what you guys think. Other than that, that's done in the video. So make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one.